14 in the diagram below triangle ABC AE is congruent to BE so let's jot this down AE congruent to BE and AF congruent to CF AF congruent to CF and CD congruent to BD so if AE is congruent to EB then what does that make point E? That makes it the midpoint, right, of AB. And if we have a line drawn from C, the opposite vertex, to the midpoint of E, what is that line called? That's called the median. And that's not just the case for CE, it's also the case for AD, right? Because the same thing is true on all sides. So AD is also a median, and E, I'm sorry, B F is a median. So we've drawn three medians. And what happens when you draw three medians and they intersect at a point, point P? That is called the centroid. So the best choice is one. I just want to take a minute to go over this because a lot of students get mixed up on these four things. And you should be able to create this table at a moment's notice. You want to know which is which. So I suppose we don't need that line. So the centroid, we just said, we find the centroid when we find the intersection point of the medians. Right? So that's one. We find the circumcenter, circumcenter, when we're finding the intersection point of three perpendicular bisectors. Okay, so that's the second one. The third one, the in-center, we find the in-center when we find the intersection of three angle bisectors, angle bisectors. And lastly, we find the orthocenter when we draw the orthocenter. I'll just write ortho. The altitudes, three altitudes. So you really just have to memorize this. If you can come up with a mnemonic or some way to remember it, this should be medians. Quiz your friends. Do what you got to do. But you have to know which, which is which. Centroid, circumcenter, in-center, orthocenter. For this one, the medians leads to the centroid.